that's an interesting thing. It's something I wondered about myself going back to days when I used to watch westerns and see wagon wheels seem to turn backwards. Basically, what it depends on is that there should be two cycles happening. And one of the cycles is the cycle of the wheel that's turning. The other cycle has to be something else. It can be a flashing light, like a stroboscope, or it can be the way in which a camera actually shoots in frames. So there are cycles that it goes through, taking a picture, waiting a little while, taking another picture. It's the difference between those two cycles that gives the effect that you're interested in. I can show you what I mean with the demonstration that I've got here. What I've got is a little wheel with a little face marked on it. And this can be the wheel that turns that you're interested in. And the way I can explain it is if you imagine that a movie camera or a film camera is taking a picture and then waiting a little while and then taking another picture, you can imagine what would happen if the wheel was set like this and then the camera took a picture and then the next frame wasn't taken until the wheel had gone all the way around until it was at the top again. And then the camera took another picture, another frame. Then if that happened every time, that this went exactly one revolution and the camera took another frame, then what you see in the end is a whole series of frames with this little image just at the top of the wheel. It would look like the wheel wasn't turning at all. Imagine now that these two cycles don't quite match exactly. Then instead of going all the way around to the top, the wheel goes around, but not quite to the top when the next frame is taken. If the next frame happens after the wheel has gone that far around, and the next one is taken when the wheel has gone that far around, then instead of, on film, seeing the wheel go forward, what you'll see is a series of pictures that looks like the little guy's head here, then here, then here, then here. And instead of understanding that as being gone all the way around almost once, what you'll think instead is that it's gone backwards just a little bit. So you put all those frames together, what you'll see is a series of pictures in which the wheel seems to go backwards. And that's something we can show using the video camera that's actually filming this because it makes these frames. And I've got another demonstration set up here that we'll show you in which you can actually see this happening as I change the speed of the motor to change the ratio between those two cycles that are happening, the cycle of the turning and the cycle of the camera. Here the wheel is mounted on a motor that will turn fast enough so that the cycles of the wheel can be matched to the cycles of a video camera. And as the wheel begins to turn faster, you can see it go through the different phases again of different number of revolutions that fit per cycle of the video camera. And finally, we come to the point where there's one revolution of the wheel per frame of the camera, and so the image seems fixed. If I then slow it down a little bit, you'll see this very effect in which the wagon wheel seems to be going backwards. Well, I hope that answers your question about backwards wheels, Shamim. Thanks very much for your question.